The justice system should be respected, and we should never allow anyone to tear it down. It's as simple as that. That's America. That's who we are. And that's who we'll always be, God willing. Now to another issue. I, uh, I want to give an update on my efforts to end the crisis in Gaza. For the past several months, my negotiators of foreign policy, intelligence community, and like have been relentlessly focused, not just on a ceasefire that would, ever, that would inevitably be fragile and temporary, but on a durable end of the war. That's been the focus, a durable end of this war, one that brings all the hostages home, ensures Israel's security, creates a better day after in Gaza without Hamas in power, and sets the stage for a political settlement that provides a better future for Israelis and Palestinians alike. This new proposal has three phases, three. The first phase would last for six weeks. Here's what it would include, a full and complete ceasefire, a withdrawal of Israeli forces from all populated areas of Gaza, a release of a number of hostages, including women, the elderly, the wounded, in exchange for the release of hundreds of Palestinian prisoners. There are American hostages who would be released at this stage, and we want them home. Palestinian civilians would return to their homes and neighborhoods in all areas of Gaza, including in the north. Humanitarian assistance would surge, with 600 trucks carrying aid into Gaza every single day. During the six weeks of, of phase one, Israel and Hamas would negotiate the necessary arrangements to get to phase two, which is a permanent end to hostilities. Now, I'll be straight with you. There are a number of details to negotiate to move from phase one to phase two. Israel will want to make sure its interests are protected. But the proposal says if the negotiations take longer than six weeks for phase one, the ceasefire will still continue as long as negotiations continue. Then phase two, there'd be an exchange for the release of all remaining living hostages, including male soldiers, Israeli forces would withdraw from Gaza, and as long as the mosque lives up to its commitments, a temporary ceasefire would become, in the words of the, proposal, the Israeli proposal, the cessation of hostilities permanently, end of quote. Cessation of hostilities permanently. Finally, in phase three, a major reconstruction plan for, Ga for Gaza would, would commence, and any final remains of hostages who have been killed would be returned to their families. That's the offer that's now on the table, and what we've been asking for. It's what we need. The people of Israel should know they can make this offer without any further risk to their own security because They've devastated Hamas forces over the past eight months.